Have you ever considered how the illusion of inclusion has shaped the societal fabric of America? This is a question that may seem simple at the surface, yet it is layered with complexities that have been woven through the threads of American history. We're talking about the illusion of inclusion, a phenomenon where a certain group of people appears to be part and parcel of a society, but in actuality, they are not fully integrated. This is not a story of clear-cut exclusion, but a more subtle yet equally damaging form of discrimination. Today we aim to explore this concept within the context of African American history, a saga steeped in struggle and resilience, one that has been marred by the mirage of inclusion. It's a journey that will take us through the back streets of time, unearthing the truths that have been hidden beneath the surface. Let's dive into the intriguing history of African American inclusion, or better said, the illusion thereof. The story begins in the early 1600s when the first enslaved Africans were brought to America. This marked the inception of a dark period in American history, where human beings were commodified, traded, and exploited for labor under brutal conditions. Slavery was not just a system of labor, it was a system of dehumanization that stripped Africans of their identities, cultures, and rights, reducing them to the status of property. Fast forward to the year 1863, and we encounter a change of federal public policy for the enslaved Africans, the Emancipation Proclamation. This seminal document, issued by President Abraham Lincoln, declared that all enslaved people in the Confederate States shall be then, thenceforward, and forever free. Yet while the proclamation signaled a shift in the tide, it was not the magic wand that it seemed to be. The Emancipation Proclamation indeed ended the legal institution of slavery, but it did not end racial discrimination or guarantee civil rights. It did not promise economic security or social equality. In many ways, it created an illusion of freedom. The formerly enslaved were technically free, but they were trapped in a system that continued to view them as inferior, that continued to limit their opportunities, and that continued to exploit their labor. The Reconstruction era that followed the Civil War saw a brief period of progress with the ratification of the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments, which abolished slavery, granted citizenship, and provided the right to vote, respectively. However, these constitutional changes were met with fierce resistance, leading to the rise of Jim Crow laws, segregation, and systemic racism, all of which effectively stifled the spirit of these amendments. So, while the Emancipation Proclamation was a significant step forward, it was just the beginning. It marked the start of a long, arduous journey towards true freedom and equality, a journey that would be marked by setbacks and victories, despair and hope, resistance and resilience. The Emancipation Proclamation marked the start of a long journey towards true inclusion. With the end of the Civil War a new era of segregation and discrimination began, known as the Jim Crow era. This period, spanning the late 19th and early 20th centuries, was characterized by a series of laws and social customs that aimed to maintain racial hierarchy. In theory, these laws upheld the principle of separate but equal. However the reality was far from it. The facilities and services designated for African Americans were grossly inferior to those for white people. Schools, hospitals and even public restrooms were segregated, leading to a drastic disparity in quality and accessibility. And then there was the infamous Plessy v. Ferguson case in 1896. Homer Plessy, a man of mixed race, challenged the segregation laws by sitting in a whites-only railway car. When he was arrested, he fought back, arguing that his constitutional rights had been violated. The case went all the way to the Supreme Court, where the separate but equal doctrine was upheld. This ruling cemented the legality of racial segregation, giving it the backing of the highest legal authority in the land. It's important to remember that the illusion of equality was not just enforced through legislation, but also through a culture of fear and intimidation. Lynchings, violence and other forms of racial terrorism were used to suppress African Americans and maintain the status quo. The message was clear, stepping out of the racial boundaries set by society would result in severe consequences, but the African American community did not remain silent. They resisted, fought back, and organized. They challenged the system in courtrooms, in schools, in the streets, and in their daily lives. They refused to accept the illusion of equality, and their struggle paved the way for the civil rights movement. Despite the legal end of segregation, the fight for true equality was far from over. The legacy of the Jim Crow era continues to shape the social, political, and economic landscape of America. 
And while we've made significant progress, the echoes of segregation and the illusion of equality still linger. In the mid-20th century, the civil rights movement emerged, fighting for the end of racial discrimination. This era was marked by brave individuals and pivotal moments that have since become the pages of history. Figures like Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks and Malcolm X among others, stood at the forefront, leading the charge for equality and justice. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965 were significant legislative victories, promising an end to racial segregation and ensuring voting rights for African Americans. These laws seem to suggest a new era of acceptance and equal opportunity for African Americans, creating what can be seen as an illusion of acceptance. On the surface, these acts presented a picture of a nation ready to embrace its diverse citizens fully. However, the reality was far more complex. While these laws were undeniably crucial steps toward equality, they did not erase systemic racism and discrimination that had been deeply ingrained in American society for centuries. In fact, despite these legislative achievements, African Americans continued to face substantial barriers. Systemic racism persisted in the form of housing discrimination, educational disparities, and unequal employment opportunities. These issues were not solved by the stroke of a pen on a legislative document but required a deeper, societal change. The illusion of acceptance was further perpetuated by the media and popular culture, which often portrayed a more progressive society than was the reality. This disparity between the perception and reality of racial acceptance created a complex and challenging landscape for African Americans to navigate. Despite the strides made during the civil rights movement, it became clear that the fight for true acceptance and equality was far from over. The civil rights movement was a monumental step, but it did not end the struggle for equality and acceptance. Fast forward to today, where the fight for true inclusion continues. In our modern society, racial profiling, police brutality, and economic disparities are still prevalent issues that African Americans face daily. These are not mere statistics or abstract concepts, they are lived realities that many African Americans confront every day. Consider racial profiling a practice where individuals are targeted based on the color of their skin rather than any credible evidence of wrongdoing. This deeply entrenched bias not only perpetuates the cycle of mistrust and fear, but also reinforces harmful stereotypes that continue to marginalize African Americans. In the same vein, police brutality remains a pressing issue. The tragic and unnecessary deaths of countless African Americans at the hands of law enforcement have sparked widespread outrage and calls for reform. Yet despite the public outcry, these incidents continue to occur, underscoring the systemic nature of the problem. And let's not forget about the economic disparities. Even today, the wealth gap between African Americans and their white counterparts is staggering. Despite the strides made during the civil rights movement, African Americans continue to face significant economic barriers, from discriminatory lending practices to unequal access to quality education and job opportunities. In the midst of these challenges, the Black Lives Matter movement emerged as a powerful voice, shedding light on these injustices and the illusion of inclusion. Born out of a response to the acquittal of Trayvon Martin's killer in 2013, the movement has since grown into a global campaign advocating for the rights of black individuals worldwide. But it's not just about raising awareness, it's about affecting change. It's about holding individuals, institutions and systems accountable for their actions or in some cases their inaction. It's about dismantling the systems that perpetuate these injustices and working towards a society where true inclusion isn't just an illusion, but a reality. The fight for true inclusion is ongoing and the illusion of inclusion remains a powerful force in American society. To understand the present, we must understand the past. The journey of African Americans in the United States has been marked by a series of illusions. The Emancipation Proclamation brought the illusion of freedom, yet the shackles of slavery were merely replaced by new forms of oppression. The Reconstruction era promised equality, but was replaced by a system of Jim Crow segregation that reinforced racial disparities. The civil rights movement sparked hope for acceptance, but the reality was a society still deeply divided by racial lines. Today, we face the illusion of inclusion. Despite strides forward, systemic inequalities persist in social, political and economic spheres. The African-American community continues to grapple with disparities in wealth, education and access to opportunities. The illusion of inclusion is a complex and powerful force that continues to shape the African-American experience. It is a history that we must all understand, learn from, 
and strive to change. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.